Fine, chasing it back here. It looks like an old supply line and it's wet. Okay, well, fun, fun, fun. Place a leaking supply line here. At least I think it's the supply line. It's possible it's a pyre, but it seems to be the most likely. So I'll turn the water off here. Oh, yeah. And we'll disconnect the line. Let's go ahead and flush it. Let most of the water out of the tank. You know, you don't really have to, yeah. in theory, anyway. But let's relieve the pressure just in case it's not our supply line. Given how old this supply line is, it's most likely, and I peeked at the fill valve and it looked very newer, so yeah, it's most likely it's supply line. Anyway, gotta let a little water in there. The, my toilets, the top is at 7 eighths, and the bottom here is at 3 eighths. Your toilets may be different, setups may be different, but this is probably one of the most common sizes. Well, this is one of the most common sizes, maybe even the most common size. Now we can kind of feel up top here and see if there's any other leaking going on. Can't dry it off. And we should be able to tell. Whether the fill line is cracked or the tank is cracked. Still not that easy. It seems alright. Oh, that feels loose. Okay. So, I'm going to reach up inside of the tank, show you this is a fairly new fill valve. And I'll hold that with one hand and then just tighten this nut down right here. And just reaching inside to keep the, the fill valve from turning. has a rather large gasket above the tank. Still feeling some moisture. top inside the fill valve to keep it from turning and then turn the bottom on and it's just hand tightening if you have we'll leak test it and if it leaks then you can always tighten it a hair tighter with channel blocks but these are just hand tightening in fact a lot of them will have a little little wings on them that allow you to hand tighten it a little bit easier And some of them will even click, so they only tighten so tight. Because one of the problems that can occur is if they're over tightened, it can snap the plastic threads. So there's some out there that are kind of engineered to only be tightened so tight. Okay. Use, use these my channel locks for. If you're really concerned about it, you can use an adjustable wrench or an appropriately sized 3 8 inch uh, box in wrench. You know, regular wrench. I'm not worried about it. 
doesn't need to look super pretty under there. It's just going to get peed on. Okay. And now uh, we'll dry all this off. And we'll leak test it. I think we're going to be good. And make sure there's no kinks in our hose line. If you need to kind of turn it around to uh, keep no kinks in it. I think it's a good idea to take this sticker off now. It'll make cleaning a nightmare later. Keeping it clean. And we're going to rotate the hose so it's in a decent position with no kinks in it. And we'll just feel for any leaks. In between, everything's dry. Everything's dry there. We're good to go. All set. That's how to replace a leaking toilet supply line. Good to go.